Seriously, is that enough to pull this off? You just saw the latest hot open source model released by OpenAI transcribing this guy. It's called Whisper and it's really, really good. Well, in reality, what you just saw didn't happen in real time. That was just me and this video. But I did put together some code so you can see how good this model is and try it for yourself. For context, Whisper is a speech recognition model that you can use for transcription and translation. South Florida is one of the most beautiful places in the continental United States. I'm gonna run that text through the model, but we can make it even more interesting. El avance de la ciencia en la última década es increíble. We'll see if this model can transcribe the audio and translate it into English. So let's bring the computer and get started. All right, before we get started, I want you to assume that the average human has a life expectancy of 80 years and sleeps eight hours every single day. That gives us a total of 467,000 hours where we are awake. In contrast, OpenAI used 680,000 hours of data to train Whisper. That is around 45% more listening time that we get in our entire life Time. So no wonder Whisper is really, really good. Now the model doesn't specialize in any particular task, but OpenAI claims that it makes around 50% fewer errors across many different sample data sets. That's just nuts. Final thing I'll say before I shut up and take a look at the code. Whisper is not only English, which is huge. About a third of the data set that OpenAI used to train Whisper is non-English. So you can use the model to transcribe from a bunch of different languages. All right, let's look at the code, which is surprisingly short. By the way, you'll find a link to this notebook in the description below. All right, so first, I'm going to install Whisper directly from their GitHub repo and Gradio. And the reason I'm using Gradio is to create a very simple interface where we can record the audio directly from my computer and transcribe it and translate it. That interface is based on a notebook that Hugging Face created created and published online. I took it, simplified it a little bit, added a couple more things, and that's what you get here. For the model itself, OpenAI offers several options. And I copied the table from their GitHub repo. So here you have the list of different models that you can load on your computer, depending on how much memory you want to use, how fast you need the results to be, or whether or not you need multilingual support. Personally, I'm using the medium model, but I found that the base model, which is way smaller, works very, very well as well. So to start things off, I loaded that model and then I created a couple of functions and I want you to notice how simple these functions are. First, there is a transcribe function that's going to receive a file and that's the audio file, that's the recording. And then we're gonna call the transcribe function of the whisper model. Notice here, however, that I'm passing a list of options and one of those options is the task that I want to do within my function. And in this particular case, the task is transcribing the audio. The translate function is very simple as well and it's almost a match of the previous function function, except here the task is going to be translate. Now remember, right now the Whisper model only supports translating into English. So you can start with any language and translate into English. Finally, this is the Gradio interface. Very, very simple interface. You can see it here. It's got a couple of buttons, one to transcribe my audio, one to translate my audio. And then you get here an area where we are going to display the text the result of that transcription or translation. And the code is very straightforward. You get the capturing of the audio here, the component that's gonna capture that audio. Here you have a couple of buttons, the transcribe and the translate button. And notice how I'm connecting the click event on these two lines. I'm connecting the click event to the two functions that I created before. Therefore, when you click on the transcribe button, we're gonna call the transcribe function. We're gonna pass the audio and we're gonna receive the result and display it in the text box that we added to the interface. Very simple stuff. So this is everything we need for our example. I added a final cell to my notebook where I'm calling directly the transcribe and transcribe
translate function and this is useful if you wanted for example to record your audio from your phone and then send it to your computer as a file you can upload the file and then access the functions directly passing the file name so if you want to use that you have it there let's give this a try south florida is one of the most beautiful places in the continental united states all right so that's my audio south florida is one of the most beautiful places in the continental united states sounds good let's click transcribe here and that was perfect that was fast that was beautiful all right let's try something else let's do it now in spanish el avance de la ciencia en la última década es increíble el avance de la ciencia en la última década es increíble okay that sounds good let's transcribe it that was perfect that was very good and now let's translate it's gonna take the same audio translate it into english the progress of science in the last decade is incredible that was amazing Okay, so here you have it. This morning, I just saw people putting together samples where they are transcribing and translating YouTube videos, music to get out the lyrics. It's really, really cool. The community is coming together. They're starting to build super cool things with this. It's open source, so you can use it right away. You really need to give it a try. Remember, the link to this notebook is in the description below. So have at it, go nuts, build something cool, and I'll see you in the next one. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You made it all the way here. So please like the video below, subscribe to my channel. And now for real, I'll see you in the next one.